So do you want to know what a dealer pays for a 2016 Toyota Corolla at auction? Today I'm going to show you. Hey, it's sell time. Let's go. Sell time. Sell time. Come on. All right, so I did something that I have never done before. I bought a car twice at an auction, and Alex is over here laughing at me. I'm a used car dealer, and I'm at a used car dealer auction, and all of these cars right here are going to be sold wholesale today to a used car dealer. All right, here's one I want us to check out. It's 2016 uh, Chevy. It's 2,500. Uh, looks like it got kissed right there, but it's got 101,000 miles on it. Um, so LTZ, I think I saw that in the front. Looks good, pretty clean on. Actually, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's not, it's not bad though. For a work truck, it's not. So it's actually not in too bad shape. No rust. Looks good. It's 2500 HD Duramax 2016. It's got 101,000 miles. It is a LTZ. All right, this is a 2016 Toyota Corolla. It's got 72,000 miles. It's got a little bit of some uh, body damage back in the back. It's like the tail lights coming off. Looks like it got, oh, it got kissed right there pretty good. Uh, but we'll check see what the price is of it. Inside, actually looks pretty good. Um, dirty, but, uh, but pretty good. And it's a 2016 Corolla. It's got 72,000 miles. All right, usually I do not pick something with some many miles to uh, check for you guys, but it's a Tacoma, so I just want to show you um, how how crazy the prices are for uh, Tacomas, even with this many miles. It's got 245,000 miles. It's a 2006. Um, outside is uh, pretty rough. <laughs> you saw the uh, the rims on. I'll show you those again. But inside is very very dirty. It needs to be cleaned up. Well, oh, excuse me. <laughs> But here are the uh, rims that they have added to this Tacoma. There's just little spots all over it. And it's a 2006, and it's got 245,000 miles. So just remember the mileage whenever we talk about it later to show you the price and just know how j just crazy the Tacoma market is, even with this many miles. Alex is actually right over here checking out a car, so we'll check in with him, see how he's got on his list for our business. Oh. Oh, I love the seats. Hey, people. What's up, man? So, question. How many do you have on your list? This will be 14. So, typically, if you have, like, a list of 10 to, let's say, 15 cars, how many do you typically expect to buy if you have that many on your list? Well, I had over 26 yesterday. And you I, had 26 on your list yesterday? And I only wow. got five. Okay. Which is... <laughs> I guess that's good. But. That's good. That means he's being responsible with my money. Yes. And I really appreciate that <laughs> out of a team member. So uh, well, give that man a raise. With this, uh, we'll see how it goes. But you can see how many cars. Yeah, let me get you off, Alex. <laughs> you can see how many cars we uh, actually unlock the door. <laughs> All right, smooth transition. So you can see how many cars we actually have to check just to get three or four cars. It's a lot of work. And Alex is putting in. Are we going? Okay. No, no we're just going back it up. Wait. We are checking the transmission. Yeah, so so it's just a lot of work to go into. A lot of times, not a whole lot of yield uh, to be able to buy these cars for our business. So um, I really appreciate Alex going through all these cars. I have to do it too. Sometimes when I'm going to the auction by myself, and it's just it's a it's a big hassle, and sometimes it's a big aggravation, especially when prices are really high because you'll go check 10, 20 cars, and you might not buy anything. So it gets super fun when the elements. Do, do not cooperate. So yeah, if it gets super hot in the summer, it, it's, it's that rough. is called sarcasm because <laughs> we are out and we are on asphalt. Yeah. So, and these cars are shut up, and some of them, the windows uh, stay up, and some of them don't have AC. So, on a 95 to 100 degree day, these cars can be 110, 120 yeah. degrees inside, and we have to sit in here so we can hook up our scanner. And wait for it to read. Uh, We're in the south, so the humidity is terrible. Yeah, North Carolina, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> All right, here's a 2013 Ford Escape. We'll check. It's got 78,000 miles. It's black, so see all that right there. That's North Carolina problems. That is uh, pollen, and why my throat always hurts. But uh, this is uh, actually pretty clean. Um, seats are in good shape. 
looks okay. So, 2013 Ford Escape. It's got 78,000 miles. We'll check to see what it brings. Battery's dead. Run into this all the time. So uh, what these auctions have is they have actually uh, massive batteries that are on carts that you can go hunt down, find, bring them over here, crank this truck and see what it uh, sounds like. But today, actually Top Don sent me one of these uh, battery jumpers. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, try it out. All right, so all you do is turn it on, hook positive to positive and negative to negative, and you're actually ready to go. Just as simple as that. All right, moment of truth. With that little box, crank this truck. Fired right up. All right, so the thing I love about these little jump starters, I've used them for a very, very long time. We use them around the shop a lot, um, is that it's portable. I mean, there's, there's really nothing to it. And uh, a good thing about it is I actually, I have had one in my truck for a long time too. You're never going to get stranded and need somebody to jump you off as long as you keep this charged and keep it in your vehicle. It's good for road trips, stuff like that. So um, I always recommend having something like this. Another good thing about this uh, jump starter is it's actually a two-in-one tool. Um, it also tests the health of your battery. So you'll be able to see if you need to replace your battery. Um, I'll leave uh, details on this one. Uh, we got a link and a coupon code, and uh, you'll be able to find that in the description below. But check it out. I think it's a good product. I like it. All right, here's the F-150 FX4 we can check. It's a 2014 model. It's got 140,000 miles. Um, outside the body looks uh, pretty good. Inside seats actually look very good. Yeah, this one, this one looks good. Looks like it's lot ready. Um, overall, very good condition. FX4, it's a 2014. It's got 140,000 miles. All right, this one's a 2015 a GS350. It's got 173,000 miles on, so a lot of miles. Um, outside looks okay. Looks like there's been a little bit of paint work done on the other side. It's not too terrible. Um, inside, seats actually look good. They're not worn or anything. It needs to be clean. It's kind of gross. Um, but overall, it looks pretty good. This one I think will be good for us to check the price on. It's a 2015 GS350. It's got 173,000 miles. All right, here's a good one for us to check. It's a 2013 Lexus ES 350. It's got 184,000 miles. Um, outside looks good as far as the body's concerned. Inside seats look pretty good. Inside looks good overall. It needs to be cleaned up, but it's not too bad. Um, so this is a 2013 Lexus ES 350 and it's got 184,000 miles. All right, here's a good one. We got a Honda Odyssey van. It's a 2016, it's got 155,000 miles. I haven't looked on the inside of it. Sometimes these things are absolutely destroyed. I have kids, I know I can relate. This one is actually great. This is a person who probably didn't have any kids. So the inside looks great. We'll check it, see what the price of it is. It is a 2016 Honda Odyssey, 155,000 miles. All right, here's a 2017 Nissan Sentra. It's got 102,000 miles. Uh, body looks good on it. Inside looks actually pretty good. Seats are not tore up, could be cleaned. But overall, I think it's pretty good. It's a 2017 Nissan Sentra. It's got 102,000 miles on it. All right, looks like this is becoming the Lexus video. This is a, a 2005 ES 330. It's only got 104,000 miles. This is that's great mileage for this year. Um, outside looks good. Inside looks actually fantastic. Seats look brand new. Um, just, I mean, a little detail work on the inside, and this thing will be ready to go. Um, I really love these cars. I think they're great cars. It's a 2005 ES 330. It's only got 104,000 miles on it. All right, here's a Corolla we can check. It's a 2010 and it's got 143,000 miles. And it looks like one of the one of the base models. He has cloth, everything. So um, of the Toyotas, it's going to be one of the cheaper. Actually, check engine lights on. He's got a traction control light on and a few little parts here missing. And it's pretty dirty. So just remember that when we're getting the price on this um, because it should go for a little bit less than what it should just because check engine light, traction control, um, dirty stuff missing on it but it's a 2010 Corolla and it's got 143,000 miles. All right, it's sell time. Let's go. Sell time. Sell time. Come on. I have to get a video. Oh, everyone. Everybody can be Order, order, not grind. Now one. Now one,
don't have the mic on so hopefully the wind's not too bad but auction's over alex actually got five cars and then i bought another one i'll tell you about that uh, later um but uh actually i might have said it right before this i don't know where we are in the video right now anyway we got five cars for our business to sell and uh that's that's uh, quite a bit um from what we have been able to buy we bought a lot more this week too so the prices for at least our cars are going down i know a lot of the cars that uh, i checked for you guys it's kind of hard to gauge the market going off these cars because the cars that I check for you guys are high desirable cars. They're cars that you ask for all the time. So they're going to have their prices stay elevated longer than um, any of the other cars on the market just because they're sought after. There are these Toyotas, there's these these Lexus that, that you guys like to see. So don't necessarily use those cars as a gauge and I'll do better in the future of throwing in some kind of run of the mill mid-tier stuff um, so you can see how prices are moving. But I can tell you on the wholesale level, just seeing our stuff and seeing some of this other mid-tier stuff, prices are coming down on the wholesale level. There's less of an appetite for uh, for a lot of these dealers to, to buy these cars at auction. And I'm seeing less dealers at auction. If you go back to some of the auction pictures, um, if you want to check out videos from like a month ago, you'll see the amount of dealers at those auctions is way less than what's actually here today. So it's a good sign for the market, I think. I think prices are coming down. Down. not gonna see it on retail side yet still gonna be a while dealers stay stubborn for a very long time they won't move prices until they get pinched they're not pinched yet but I think it's coming all right so I did something that I have never done before I bought a car twice at an auction and Alex is over here laughing at me uh, so um, what happened was this is a charity car uh, they ran it through it was actually being uh, it was donated yeah I see that it was donated by a safe harbor um, to actually be ran through the auction whatever it brought then they were just going to donate it so um, it's a 2003 Camry with 274,000 miles I went up to 2,700 bucks on it. It's not worth $2,700. I know that we're not gonna sell it for 2,700 bucks. I just wanted to donate it to a charity. I looked it up. They actually help um, like battered women, women trying to get off addiction and they provide a safe place for them to, to, to stay, to basically get through whatever they're, uh, they're dealing with. Um, so anyway, 2,700 bucks, and I said, you know what, I'll just donate that, run it through again, and whatever it brings, then, uh, then uh, they, can, they can have that extra money. I was expecting it to bring similar money to that. Alex is still laughing at me. This um, is a five hundred dollar car. Yeah, and I didn't. Calls. And I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to pay another twenty seven hundred, twenty five hundred dollars. But I guess all the other bidders um, didn't want to bid on it again, and it only brought like fourteen hundred bucks. So I was like, you know what? I'll just I'll buy it. So <laughs> the auctioneer said, "Well, I've never experienced this, but uh, I just sold the man uh, his car right back to him after uh, selling it to him." And Alex is still laughing. Uh, but anyway, so all of that to say, not toot my own horn or what we're doing. We like to donate to things like this. Um, but I wanted to actually tell you about them. So Safe Harbor, um, they are a company, um, I guess it's a company, it's a nonprofit, out of uh, Hickory, North Carolina. And I'm going to put a link in the description below to their website. I'm not going to use my platform to do stuff like this very often, but uh, a, uh, a mission like this, I can get behind. So please, please, please go to their website, donate. I'm not even uh, telling them that I'm doing this. So let's just uh, bless them with some, some donations. Please, for me, for car questions answered, let's, uh, let's go to their uh, website. It's really easy. I went to it and there's a donate button like right there on the front screen. So um, I think it's a good cause. I wanna support it. All right, price time. So that 2016 Toyota Corolla that had 72,000 miles on it, um, it brought $10,400 in lane and it sold. 
All right, the 2016 Chevy 2500 had 101,000 miles on it. Um, it brought $24,400, um, but uh, it was put on an if, but the auctioneer acted like they weren't even close on that. So I would assume that that one's not going to get done. I know the auctioneer tried to start off the bidding somewhere around like thirty, thirty-two thousand dollars um, $32,000, and it only brought around twenty-four grand. So it's probably not going to get done. All right, the 2013 Ford Escape. It had 78,000 miles on it. Um, it sold for $7,500. All right, the 2014 F-150, the FX4, had 140,000 miles. Um, it brought $16,300, but it was put on a call, on a if bid. All right, the 2015 Lexus GS350 had 173,000 miles. It brought $12,500, and it sold. All right, this one's uh, amusing. It's a 2006 Toyota Tacoma, but it had 245,000 miles. It was uh, nasty. It uh, had those uh, rims that just didn't match with the truck, uh, but it brought $7,000 and they sold it. All right, the 2013 ES350 had 184,000 miles and it brought $9,800 and it sold. All right, the 2016 Honda Odyssey, um, it had 155,000 miles. It brought $10,000 in lane, and there was only one bid. And they put it on an if, they put it on a phone call. I would assume because it only brought one bid and wasn't able to run up at all, they're probably not close on it. But in those cases when there's only one bidder, um, they were probably anticipating that they would go higher than that. So sometimes the deal will get done afterwards um, because even if the seller wanted like 12 grand, they're $2,000 apart, that bidder that started out at 10 grand and was the only one that bid on it, they might have anticipated that they would have to pay close to 12 grand for it anyway. So that deal could still possibly get done. All right, the 2017 uh, Nissan Sentra had 102,000 miles. Uh, it brought $5,000. Again, uh, same as the last car. Um, it only had one bid on it, so there was only one dealer that even wanted to mess with it. They raised their hand for $5,000. Uh, no other bids, and they put it on a phone call. All right, the 2005 ES330 had 104,000 miles. Very, very nice car, but still a 2005 and it brought $7,400 and it sold. Um, that's That seems like a high price for that, but really, if somebody's looking for that particular year and uh, those kind of miles and in that shape of the car, that stuff brings way more money uh, because it's just going to be such a rare thing to find um, that that Lexus in that kind of shape with those kind of miles. So I knew it, when we uh, when we picked it out to uh, check the price on that, I knew that that was going to be uh, crazy money on that car. All right, the 2010 Toyota Corolla had 143,000 miles. It sold for $5,600. All right, we're gonna walk through what we bought today. So, actually, I don't even know how many, how many did you buy? Uh, one, two, three. Camry six. Oh no, Camry's twice. <laughs> count the Camry twice. So seven. We bought seven. Did you count the Camry twice? I did. Okay, so we got, we got five cars. <laughs> uh, 16 Escape, got it for 31. Sell for 45. Okay, 3100 sell it for 4500 bucks. 09 right. Flex, uh, paid 25 for it, sell it for 35 for somewhere around. Yeah, there. probably probably 4000 2009 Flex. Yeah. All right, Caravan, 30 wheels. It's a 2010 Dodge Caravan. Uh, I paid 1200 for it, probably sell it for 25 for three, somewhere around there. Sounds good. Actually, I like Caravans. Yeah. As long as the transmission is good, you gotta yeah. check the transmission. Alright, ugly, ugly, ugly Subaru, but we love them. Yeah, 97 Subaru Legacy. Uh, paid 500 bucks for it. Nice. So, 15. Yeah, probably. so it's only got 155,000 miles. Yeah, it it is a ugly, ugly, ugly car, but we're going to be able to sell it for $1,500, $2,000 for somebody, and they're going to have, hopefully, a good running car. We're going to go through it, check it, but with only 155,000 miles, all right, this is probably the best buy of the day. It's an 07 MDX. What did you pay for it, sir? I paid 1600 for it. And what will you sell it for? Uh, probably get 3000 out of it. Yep, it sounds fair. Good. Sounds fair. I like it. Looks good, too. Mm -hmm. Good buy. Good buy. But you got to do the biggest sale time thing ever for this. Yeah. I got it, right? All right. How are you doing now? I did sell time. Let's
let's go. It's up time. It's up time. Come on. I had to get a bit of here to go. All right, so mic test, mic test. I don't know how this thing's supposed to work. I just got it kind of dangling there. Doesn't feel right, but there's wind blowing right now, so we're going to use that to check. And let's check it. For $2,000 or less, I think it it's a good buy. Wonderful. And it smells wonderful. It must smell awful. <laughs> it smells terrible. Yeah, we can get the smell out of it. We can get the butt smell out of it. Eight. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Counting's hard. Seven. All right, go. This is a 2003 Camry. It should have been a $1,500 car, but uh, it's going to be $4,100. <laughs> <laughs>